You must be hearing and reading a lot about the Women's Reservation Bill. It is supposed to usher in a new era in Indian politics. But what exactly is the Women's Reservation Bill 2023? Well, to begin with, as the name suggests, it will reserve a one third of all seats in the Lok Sabha for women, not just in the Lok Sabha, in all state assemblies and in the Union Territory of NCT. There will be a reservation for women candidates up to 33% of the seats in the House. Even seats reserved for scheduled caste and scheduled tribe will have one third of them reserved for women. Now, when will this come into play and how will this happen is the big question. Uh, for one, this will come into play only once there is a census and after that, a delimitation process will take place, which means that the number of seats which will actually eventually be reserved, which will, will be many more and will be determined only after this delimitation process. Another important thing to note is that this Women's Reservation Bill will continue its practice for the next 15 years or until the parliament extends it once again. These reserved seats of one third will be rotated every time there is a delimitation process. That means the number of seats which are reserved as of now, whenever this is implemented for women candidates, is due to change after the next delimitation process, which typically happens once every 10 years. Now, the important question over here is that why has this taken so long? So it's interesting to know that attempts to bring in a women's reservation bill and versions of it have continued from 1996, 98 and 2008. Every time it got stuck either in the Lok Sabha and the Ra or the Rajya Sabha and then the timeline of that parliament lapsed. We have to wait and see if this one passes and when it will actually come into play. The earliest is 2029, but there's no guarantee.